is a clinical case video. When you see this symbol flash, hit pause and have a think about the question before moving on. This way, you'll get much more from the video. You recently saw a 63-year-old lady who was feeling tired all the time and complained of shooting pains in her lower legs and feet. You asked her about other symptoms and she told you that she'd noticed that her tongue had been quite sore recently, but she didn't really think anything else of it. She'd got no post medical history and drinks alcohol only on special occasions. On examination, there was a loss of fine touch sensation on both feet and ankles. Also, her tongue looked smooth with a loss of the normal folds. What are some common causes for peripheral neuropathy? Diabetes, alcohol and B12 deficiency. You took some bloods and now have the results of those. The haemoglobin is 89. The mean cell volume is 110. The folate is 8 and the B12 is 90. The mean cell volume is raised, which means this is a macrocytic anemia. What are the possible causes of a macrocytic anemia? B12 or folate deficiency, thyroid disease, alcohol, liver disease, and myelodysplastic syndrome. Our blood tests show that the patient had low B12 levels, what would be the next appropriate test? Intrinsic factor antibodies. You request the intrinsic factor antibodies and the test is positive. The presence of intrinsic factor antibodies confirms the diagnosis of pernicious anemia. What do you know about pernicious anemia? Pernicious anemia is an autoimmune disease where antibodies to intrinsic factor are produced. Intrinsic factor is a protein which binds B12 in the gut and helps it to absorb. B12 is used as part of the cellular machinery to produce DNA. The classic features are anemia and other cytopenias. In other words, it can also cause low white cells and low platelets. Nerve damage notably peripheral neuropathy and subacute combined degeneration of the cord, and also atrophic glossitis. It's rare for all of the features to be present. For example, patients may present with neurological symptoms only. In the last few years, we've realised that the B12 test that we commonly use is actually not very sensitive. If a patient has clear features of B12 deficiency, but has a normal B12 level, you should consider a trial of treatment or use second-line tests such as serum homocysteine or methylmalonic acid. These second-line tests won't be available in many areas. So a pragmatic solution would be a trial of treatment. So how are you going to treat the patient? This patient is going to need lifelong treatment with vitamin B12. In the UK this is given intramuscularly our patient has neurological symptoms, so it's recommended that she has injections every other day, at least for a few weeks. If her symptoms improve, she can move on to having an injection every two to three months. So in summary, in this case we saw a lady who had macrocytic anemia, peripheral neuropathy, and a sore tongue, which was atrophic glossitis. And the presence of intrinsic factor antibodies in her blood tests confirmed the diagnosis of pernicious anemia.